We in the Bay Area get stuck with sideshow season. You can always tell when it's sideshow season by the distinctive smell of burnt rubber and the markings they leave on the roadway. But since the weather is warming up, you'll probably hear about a lot more. To me, it's just a bunch of people who think it's cool to do burnouts in the middle of the street and terrorize neighborhoods. You know, the sad part is if Oakland police had responded, someone would complain about the police. Then they would complain they weren't doing anything wrong. I have a slight clue. You are doing something wrong. It's called breaking the law. Which law? Well, let's see. Exhibition of speed, reckless driving, impeding the flow of traffic, creating a public nuisance. Should I continue? And that's just the traffic violation. And at first glance, it's just another disruption at an East Bay intersection. Watch as the white lights soon change to blue and red. No, no, no. And thus ends the sideshow. Or not. Now the entire event with all the drivers trying to get away create gridlock while the police wait for backup. This is the aftermath of a sideshow that took place in the middle of the day at a normally busy intersection. This is what the intersection looked like. Drivers doing donuts in the middle of the street while the crowd cheered them on. Cars lined up waiting for their chance to do circles in the street and people with cell phones, GoPros and tablets waiting to record the video so they can sell them online. Yes, they sell these stunts after they add music to them. And there must be a market because they keep making the clips and people keep buying them. And what you may not know is that many of these people don't even live in Oakland. Some come from as far away as Madeira, Tracy, San Jose, and in some cases, even farther, just so they can trash Oakland and take over the streets. They basically hold residents and citizens hostage until either the police arrive or they decide to move on to another intersection. Now, why do you think all these sideshows happen at just about the same locations? It's simple, because these out-of-towners only know a few streets to swing their cars, as they call it. They can't do this stuff in Madeira. The police would be all over them like a cheap suit. So they come to Oakland and do their dirt. Until there are some stronger laws on the books for participants and spectators, this will continue. Even when Oakland police do show up, all they can do is basically move the crowd of reckless drivers to another intersection that they know how to get to. <laughs> This was the scene over the weekend. Sideshow participants doing donuts and vandalizing a police car. The problem is growing. Police say that hundreds of people participated in the illegal sideshow activity. East Oakland residents say that they are scared and they are fed up with the sideshows. They say that the sideshows keep the kids up at night and want them to stop. They disturbed the whole neighborhood. As a matter of fact, the lady across the street called me up to her house one day to tell me how her children can't sleep it on the weekends because of those donuts that are being happening there. They're getting up on Sunday mornings like zombies. On Saturday, it was at 700 cars from as far away as L.A. got the message that Oakland is the place to come to do sideshows. City Council member Noel Gallo says that he wants there to be a law that would allow police to impound the cars of the sideshow drivers for the first offense. Currently, state law only allows police to impound cars on the second offense. Gallo says that the time has come to hit the sideshow participants where it hurts. 700 vehicles plus is not a new thing in Oakland, and uh, but it happens in specific neighborhoods, and we're tired. So we got to take action. So if I get to impound your car and keep your car, well, that's what I got to do to change your behavior.